But while I may be the first woman in this office, I will not be the last. America's next vice president, Kamala Harris, has a history of firsts. We did it, Joe. You're going to be the next president of the United States. <laughs> she is the first woman of color to be elected as VP. Before that, she was the first black female district attorney of San Francisco and then state attorney general. In 2016, she became the first black senator from California. Harris has held seats on several high-profile committees, including intelligence and judiciary. She's known for her tough line of questioning. Is he fit to be a jurist? To Democratic voters, Harris is a familiar face, running against Joe Biden when she made her own bid for the presidency in the 2020 race. Born in Oakland, the 56-year-old is the daughter of two immigrants, an Indian mother and a father from Jamaica. Known as Mamala to her stepchildren, she is married to lawyer Doug Emhoff, who will become the first second gentleman. Harris studied law at the historically black Howard University in Washington, D.C. She marched with protesters after the police killing of George Floyd in 2020, and she's supported proposals to overhaul policing. We are in the midst of a long overdue reckoning on racial injustice in America. Her path to the vice presidency has not been without controversy. She struggled to defend her tough line during her time as California Attorney General. And she served in the Senate for less than one term before seeking higher office. But Harris, a self-proclaimed fan of hip-hop, has promised to be a team player in the Biden administration and work in lockstep with the incoming president. Kamala, floor is yours.